Vin Diesel, Bruce Willis, Sean Connery, three big stars who prove bald can be very beautiful. But for the millions of men and women who'd rather keep their hair, there could be some huge news today. John Roberts following this story for us from Atlanta. John, what is the breaking news? Is there hope for all these beautiful bald men out there? Uh, there's more than hope. We could be on a step uh, down the road to a cure here. This is very, very big news. Until now, dealing with hair loss has been limited to potions or drugs that slow it down or hair transplantation to move around what we have left on our head. But this is the very first time researchers have been able to grow new hair follicles in the laboratory. They took samples from hair follicles from seven volunteers, cloned those cells in the laboratory, then implanted them in human skin that was grafted onto the backs of mice. In five of the seven tests that they tried. It resulted in the creation of new hair follicles that grew healthy hair. A lot of applications here. It could grow grass for transplantation for men and women who are losing their hair. It could be implanted in skin grafts to help burn victims grow a new head of hair. It might even be injected directly into the scalp to grow hair where it's been lost. According to the lead researcher, Angela Cristiano from Columbia University Medical Center, this has the potential to transform the medical treatment of hair loss. So current hair transplant surgery is just a, basically a relocation of hairs from the back of the head to the front, but there's no net gain in the number of follicles. The thinking is that if we could get this to work clinically, that we could use it to actually increase the number of follicles. Now, Christiana knows what she's talking about as well. You see, that's a wig she's wearing because she has a condition, has suffered from it since 1996, called alopecia areata. She has lost most of her hair, and Gretchen has really made it her calling since then to help people who are in a similar situation. And here's another direction this could go in as well. Drug companies have not been able to come up with specific drugs to treat hair loss because you can't grow hair in the laboratory, so there's nothing to test the drugs on. Now they can grow hair in the laboratory so they can bombard these hair follicles with thousands of potential pharmaceutical compounds and maybe find a real cure here. Wow, that is amazing news. Uh, John Roberts, thanks so much for that exclusive report right here on The Real Story. Thanks, John.